How's it going guys? I'm Eric from Techisode TV and in today's Techisode I'm going to show you guys how to get one of the best Android Lollipop features on your Galaxy Note 4 right now. That feature is Art Runtime. In case you don't know what Art Runtime is, I have three video links in the description. One goes to a video by David from PhoneBuff who does a great job explaining what Art is in very simple terms. The second video is from Google and it's when they announced Art Runtime to the developers and the third video gets sadistically deep into what exactly Art Runtime is to a code level. So if you want to get really deep into it, that's a 40 something minute video that you can really dive in deep onto what exactly Art is and, and what it does for your phone. Simply put, Art Runtime makes your phone up to two times faster. Now, I personally haven't noticed a two times speed boost on my phone, but it definitely is faster and I have some video tests to prove that for you guys. But before we get to that, I need to throw out one quick disclaimer. Art Runtime is still in its beta stages right now, so that means that you may have some app compatibility issues. So some apps may force close, they may not open, uh, you may have some issues just using apps in general. I personally haven't had any of those issues with my phone, but you might depending on the apps you use. If you do run into issues, you can easily stop using Art Runtime and go back to using Dalvik Runtime, which is currently being used on the Note 4. And again, if you want to know the difference between Dalvik and Art Runtime, check out David's video uh, from PhoneBuff. He does a great job explaining the differences. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is enable developer options. To do that, go to Settings, General, about device, then scroll to the bottom and tap the build number repeatedly until you get this notification. Now go back out to the settings general tab and scroll to the bottom. A new menu called developer options should be there. Before you go into this menu, I want to warn you that this menu will allow you to change features which could potentially negatively impact the performance of your phone or make random looking things pop up on your screen. Rest assured though, you cannot break your phone by changing any of these settings, and if at any point you want to undo any changes you made to these options, all you have to do is go to Settings, Applications, Application Manager, swipe over to the All tab, then scroll down to Settings, tap that, then tap Clear Data. This will remove developer options and any changes you made there. Alright, back to enabling Art Runtime. Go into Developer Options and look at the fourth option down. It says Select Runtime System and it's set to Use Dalvik. Tap that, then tap Use Art in the pop-up. You'll be alerted that your device needs to restart. Make sure your battery is at least at 60% or plugged in when you do this because it's a very processor-intensive task and will drain your battery like crazy during reboot. Don't worry though, the high battery drain only happens once when the apps are being converted to work with Art Runtime. Once the update is done, the battery life will go back to normal. This process can take 10 to 20 minutes depending on how many apps you have installed, so make sure you have enough time set aside to do this. The phone may also get very hot during this conversion. That's also perfectly normal. Just try to keep the phone in a cool environment while doing this, i.e. not outside in direct sunlight on a 90 plus degree day. Once your phone reboots the first time, you want to reboot it once more to finish the conversion. I recommend rebooting twice though because I personally needed to do that once. Now that the conversion is done, let's take a look at the speed difference between Dalvik and Art. In this test, I clear the RAM first, then start a timer and run through opening a set of apps. Then, I run through the same apps backwards and stop the timer at the end to get the final time. This will test both the app opening time as well as the time it takes to switch between applications that have already been loaded into RAM. As you can see here, the Note 4 using Art is taking a substantial lead on fully loading Samsung's website. I'll revisit this test later because loading web pages is greatly affected by how fast the internet connection is at any given time. So, Art may not be that far ahead after all. I also prematurely closed the Bible app on the Note 4 running Art. I thought the page loaded, but then the text feels refreshed right after I hit the home button, so that gives the Note 4 running Art a fraction of a second boost over the Note 4 running Dalvik, so keep that in mind too when you see the final numbers. Here we are loading the games. This will give a pretty good look at the speed differences between Dalvik and Art because of how large the files are. Make sure you are also paying attention to things like how long it takes to get back to the home screen after I hit the home button. As you can tell by now, the speed difference isn't mind blowing by any means, but it is there. That could be because Art is still in beta until we get the official Android Lollipop release for the Note 4. Once we get that, I'll do another test with the same apps to see if the release version of Art is any faster. 
Finishing up the test, we see that the Note 4 running Art is about 6 seconds faster than the Note 4 running Dalvik. Remember though, there is a big difference in opening the web page which could easily be explained away by inconsistent internet speeds. To get a better idea of the speed difference between Dalvik and Art, we need to take a closer look. In this second set of tests, I line up the videos so that the app icons are touched at the same time so you can see how Dalvik and Art compare on an app-by-app -app basis. I also ran a second test with loading Samsung's website with the Note 4 using Dalvik. The new results suggest that the time difference with loading web pages was based on my internet connection, not Dalvik versus Art. If you pay close attention, you may notice that the Note 4 using Dalvik tends to get to the blank screen for the app to show up first, but the Note 4 running Art tends to be the first one to load the app contents even though it's a bit slower at bringing up the app screen. Something that I've noticed both in these tests and in my general experience while using Art is that the Note 4 returns to the home screen slightly faster with Art than with Dalvik. I've also noticed a faster response when using the recent apps menu with Art. As you can see here, the Note 4 running Dalvik loads Dead Trigger 2 faster than the Note 4 running Art. This is pretty surprising, but it may be due to the fact that Art is still in beta. Art redeems itself here with loading up Asphalt 8 as it comes in just slightly ahead of Dalvik. Now that we are going backwards through the apps that are already loaded into RAM, we see that the Note 4 running Art seems to be opening and closing apps noticeably faster than the Note 4 running Dalvik. That about does it for the Dalvik vs Art comparison on the Galaxy Note 4. Be sure to subscribe for more in-depth Note 4 videos, and don't forget to leave a comment with any video requests you have. Also, follow me on Twitter and Google Plus to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Lastly, you can check out all of my other in-depth Note 4 and Samsung Gear S videos by clicking the links in the video or the links in the description. That's it for this tech episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.